everyone, this is Michelle Kane with Michelle Kane Actions. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use two actions from the Botanical Blends collection to create kind of a really nice film look to this photograph. And we're starting with a nice clean picture. Um, this is actually where the picture began, and you can see that I removed this motor over here and I cleaned up the skin. And I'll show you in another video how those two things are achieved. But starting from this point now with the clean skin and the clean background, the first thing that I'm going to play from the Botanical Blends collection is called Spicy. And this is a just a general um, punch kind of action that's got some sharpening in it. And I'm just going to hit play. And immediately Spicy gives me um, a lot more richness, contrast, and boost to the color. And it defaults to 80%, and I'm going to pull that back down just to maybe about 30%. So we have just a little bit of kick to the picture, um, but not too much. Actually, I might come back and switch this as I play along, um, but I think I'm going to actually go from 30 to 50, somewhere in there. So that's kind of the beginning point. And then the other action that we're going to use from Botanical Blends is Willow. And this is one of my favorites because um, the, the look that it gives naturally as it plays, I like. But I also like to get inside of the layers of Willow and change up um, the settings just a little bit. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to hit play on Willow. And as it plays, it's pretty profound and obviously not a look that I want for this picture as is. So I'm going to open up the Action Willow, and there's a couple things that I want to do to it. Number one is I want to turn off the warmth layer for this picture, just because I don't really like um, the yellowy effect that it's going to create as I take down the mist layer. So clicking on the uh, Willow Mist layer, that defaults to 100%, and I'm going to drop that down to about 20 and again, I'm trying to create this kind of matte film sort of look to the picture. And the other thing I want to do is come down to the Willow Haze layer. And here's an example of how you can really customize these actions for your particular pictures. I do encourage you to get in there and play with these layers and see when you change opacities, when you change blending modes, what they do. So again, with the Willow Haze layer, it's set to a normal blending mode. And I do like that, but I, I want to actually on this one switch it to a lightened blending mode. And you're going to see that it changes things up just a little bit. Now, as I click it on and off, you'll probably be able to see that these shadows that had so much black contrast in them, they got a lot lighter. Now, I like that, but I also want that haze that was there when it was set to normal. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate this layer. I can drag this layer down here to the little page icon, and it will duplicate it for me. I can also hit Command or Control J, and it'll duplicate it that way. So now I've got another Willow Haze layer, and it's also set to lighten. But now I want to take this one back to the normal setting. So now I've got a haze. Um, with normal and a haze of the light and blending mode. So if I go back to this haze copy that's set to normal and I click the eye on and off, you can see that we got a lot more of that matte sort of uh, effect onto the picture. But his skin has gotten too orange and it's uh, a little too intense there. So I'm just going to easily take my layer mask that's built in there and I'll get about a 40% opacity soft brush and just begin to remove some of this off of him. And maybe a little off of his arms where they get just a little orange. If I go too far one way, I can always change the color of my brush back to white and paint it back in. And so let's go ahead and click this off and go back to the original here. Nice clean photograph. And then as we click the edit back on, we get that kind of nice film sort of look into it. Now, of course, remember you can go back and start to adjust these other layers if you decide now mist needs to be amped up just a little bit. And I do like that as well. Maybe we'll take that from 20 up to about 53, and then with a low opacity brush, maybe about 20% opacity brush, just lightly remove it off of his skin so that it doesn't get too light. And so there's another effect, just a little bit hazier kind of background. So with Willow, and spicy. Very quick edit. 
get the matte film look in just uh, two actions and a little bit of customizing and you're done. Hope you found that helpful guys and look for the other video on the cleaning skin and the removing of objects from the background. To find out more about the Michelle Kane actions, please visit my website, michellekanephotography.com. There you'll find uh, other video tutorials and editing blueprints to help you along with using the Michelle Kane actions. Thanks so much, everybody, and have a great day.